We got to 50 for a day. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is a special day. It's a celebration. We've finally hit 50 subscribers, at least for a day. And then it went down to 48. But, I mean, it was there. Uh, so we're going to do a few things for fun today. I'm going to edit the video, which I don't normally do, too heavy editing. Um, I'm going to try and put it now. I have to do backwards. So right up here, I'm going to put the YouTube 50 subscribers so you can see that it indeed was 50. Now, what happened was, is I looked at it one day and it went up to, it went from uh, 48 to 50. And then I was so excited. And then it went down to uh, 49. And I was sad. Then it went to 50. And I was happy. Then it went down to 49, 48, 47. And I hadn't even done anything. I mean, I put out a video like I normally do every day. And uh, I was like, what the heck? And so now we're up to 49. So I can't even have my 50th uh, subscriber special. You know, I had it planned, but then it's not really 50. I'm at 49. So you know what to do. You, this is the internet. You could fix this in a day, okay? In an hour, you could get enough subscribers to stop this silliness, and I can be at 50. So um, I'd love if you did that. I'll tell you, the uh, stress of, like, looking at the numbers, it's, it's something that you shouldn't be doing. Like, as a YouTuber, like, I'll do a video, and I'll, be, I'll say, this is the best video I've ever done. And sure enough, uh, it gets one view, and it's me. I was the viewer. So uh, very humbling, very humbling. I wanted to go to my notes for a second because um, just, just kind of put this into, into perspective. Mr. Beast has 72 million subscribers. He loses subscribers and gains subscribers, uh, you know, probably by the, maybe the, at least the thousands and I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get 50 and it's, it's not going, it's not going well. Although I've got to believe that somebody will hit the subscribe button at some point to get me at 50. Uh, and then um, one of the things I wanted to mention was, is I didn't think it was going to be this difficult to get to 50 subscribers. I really thought that within, I don't know, two weeks of launching the channel, I'd get 50. So uh, so it's now been two months, 75 episodes. And I've been, I've been watching other YouTubers and they say you have to have a certain number of videos before you have enough subscribers or for YouTube to even know what you're talking about, which is real estate. That's what we talk about. Uh, neighbors, things of that nature. But in doing the math, it will take about 3,500 videos to get to a thousand subscribers, which I've looked at some of the other big YouTubers and uh, they're at millions of subscribers, uh, subscribers at 3,500 videos. So wish me luck. It looks like this is going to be a slog, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it because when have we ever in history been able to, to talk about anything and, you know, and have it distributed? I mean, it, it hasn't happened. Um, one of the things I wanted to do, I wanted to, I wanted to show you, I've got a, this is one of the things, this is a stream deck. So I got this a couple months ago and uh, I wanted to open it on air, but I'm too lazy to move the camera around. So I'm gonna do it where you can't see it. But I, this thing is supposed to be great. Um, I'm gonna use it. I keep telling myself after my uh, 50th episode special, I said I would use it. I said I would do a lot of things and I did a few of them. I changed the intro, um, I don't know. But, oh goodness, there's another one. I'm, I'm doing it right now as we speak. I'm not trying to kill time, but there's, there's apparently two. So what this is supposed to do, I don't, I don't mean to be too far away from the microphone. What this is supposed to do is it's supposed to allow me to make transitions faster. I don't know if it'll allow me to put stuff on the screen, um, but I wanted you to see it. Here we go. I want to make sure it's up. At, here it is right here, stream deck. Here's the actual product. It's supposed to sit on my desk. Now, one of the problems is, is, it takes USB 3.0 to work. Here you go. And all my ports are like taken up. So I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this, but this thing looks cool. And so if you ever see me in the future pressing buttons right there, that's going to be it. And it comes with this box. I'm guessing this is the cord. 
No instructions. Not a long enough cord either, so that's not good. But we'll figure it out. Anyway, I, I'm going to leave it on my desk. I've had it on my desk for three months, but um, I'm actually going to try and work on it um, soon. So ways you can help the channel. If you have a friend, ask them to subscribe. That would be helpful. Uh, write a comment in the uh, comments. That would be helpful. You know, put a like in there, something like that. I do kind of want to grow the channel. I got the podcast and it's fun. Uh, but, you know, it'd be nice to have the YouTube channel going well, too. All right. Well, that's that. I'm going to show you the, the graphic up there. I'm going to edit this video. You know, I don't do a lot of, uh, you know, editing on these videos. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, I do want to get into an article because that's, that's what I do. We do articles related to neighbors, real estate, and stuff like that. So let's get into it. I'm going to go to this here. And we're going to go to this article and it says, Bear shot killed outside Buncombe County home. Neighbor faces charges. Well, that's an interesting article. Let's, let's find out about it. Um, officers from the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission cited a Burn, Burncombe County man after he said he shot, after they said he shot and killed a bear on his neighbor's property. Uh, the fellow has been charged with negligent hunting, taking a wild animal and hunting during the close season. Given that the bear was not aggressive, not attacking anyone, and not on and on another person's property, officers said the person's act would be rarely be legal. A neighbor reported that the man shot the bear in front of his house from across the street. Uh, he expressed how dangerous this act was, as it could have resulted in his own house or another shot, another house nearby being shot by accident. We found no reason for that individual to have shot the bear. According to the Wildlife Commission, uh, he acted in a reckless manner by using a 12-gauge shotgun with buckshot, a dangerous weapon to use in the confines of a neighborhood. Um, this, uh, this fellow, I guess he's the police chief. Oh, no, he's, a, he's a part of the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. He says that, uh, that it's really not a black bear's DNA to attack people. We've never had a death in North Carolina from a black bear. Hmm. Uh, if he said uh, black bear attacks are not common, the Wildlife Commission found that the local residents, especially those within city limits, remain fearful of the bears. Hmm. Wonder why. A major contributor to black bears becoming more ornery is residents feeding the bears. If residents encounter such a situation in their own neighborhood, the Wildlife Commission advises them to leave the bears alone. Just let the bear wander on through. Uh, this neighborhood, it's common to see bears. Okay, so the fellow faces a minimum fine of $2,000, and $2,000 can be added on as a replacement cost. Um, generally, when bears get shot during the close season, there's a good reason why. It's very seldom that we charge anybody, but you charge this fellow because of, you know, outrage. So here's another article, the same thing. Um, it happened in the middle of the day. Uh man was quoted saying he could have hit our house he could have hit our neighbor's house or the house directly behind us which is a clear line of sight from where he was standing uh they said that there's very few cases where it would be legal for someone to shoot a bear on another person's property if someone was being attacked by the bear or being chased by the bear yes if they were trying to protect someone else or someone else asked them to um and then this neighborhood was named a bear wise safe community the program teaches residents how to coexist with bears well that seems like a great idea uh, they're very harmless they always just come through and as long as we follow the bear wise tips the basics don't leave food out lock all your stuff up keep trash in the garage lock your cars they don't bother anyone the property owner said well that's good to know so i did a little internet searching not 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 too difficult um so uh, that headline there says, woman known for feeding bears found dead in North Carolina woods. Even though I was told by the, the man that was part of the, the Wildlife Commission, this doesn't happen. Uh, in the other article, it says, uh, they said she may. Based on what we saw, it appeared a bear dragged her back into the woods. Uh, he said investigators are not certain she was killed by a bear. The remains are being evaluated. Uh, so this lady apparently... Uh, was known for feeding bears for 20 years. And uh, the North, she often called the sheriff's office or the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Let me see if this is the same, the same fellow. 
North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Well, maybe that woman wasn't killed by a bear. What about this guy here? As bear lurked, hikers find man's remains near the Great Smoky Mountains campsite. Hmm. As a bear lurked, hikers find a, a man's remains scattered near a campsite. Uh, they identified the man from, he was from Illinois. Uh, after finding an unoccupied tent, the backpackers saw what appeared to be human remains scattered across a nearby creek with a bear scavenging the area. Uh, the hikers quickly left to get cell coverage and report what they encountered. Uh, the remains were found uh, near Hazel Creek Trail. Um, and then it says that uh, you have to take a shuttle or something. Um, so it says rangers said they also saw a bear actively scavenging on the remains and euthanized the animal. Euthanized means murdered. So, uh, I always thought this was interesting. It said, if you see a bear, but watch, but don't approach it and never let it come towards you. So how are you going to, I'm just me. I'm from the city. What am I, if a bear's coming at me, what am I supposed to do? I'm not supposed to let it come towards me. What, why do you just say stop? Is that going to work? Um, it says, oh, and then here's a fascinating, it's against the law to get intentionally within 50 feet of a bear. Uh, bears have restraining orders. Bears are wild animals that are dangerous and unpredictable, according to the site. If you happen, happen upon one close by, it could aggressively uh, act aggressively by running towards you, making loud noises, or swatting the ground. The bear is demanding more space. Don't run, but slowly back away watching the bear. Increase the distance between you and the bear, and the bear will probably do the same. Well, that's good to know. So, it says... Bears are wild animals that are dangerous and unpredictable. First article says, uh, it's really not black bears' DNA to attack people. We already know that they've had a death. So anyway, I don't know. If you're in North Carolina and you see a bear, uh, good luck. Um, authorities are not sure what to do. <laughs> and it's your life. You only get one of them. Um, I'm not pro-shooting bears in neighbors' Uh, property i'm not uh i don't really like to kill any animal at the same time a bear is a huge animal and will will kill you <laughs> like, like this seems obvious but i guess it's not uh so hey you know thank god we don't have any bears in st louis um but that's that's it that's the world i live in one group says things are fine the other group says things are horrible and every single every single subject. So if you liked uh, if you liked my fiftieth subscriber video, I'd love a subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button. It'll it'll work. Uh, somebody hit a notification button the other day. That was nice. Uh, so that would be good too. But that's asking an awful lot. Uh, you know, if you think I'm wrong for not wanting to kill bears, put in a comment. If you think I'm right for not wanting to kill bears, put in a comment. I I don't. I don't want to kill bears, but I also don't want bears killing people. I think people are more important than bears. That's probably the thing that I've got wrong. So you could put that in the comments too. And uh, that's what I have. Thank you for watching. Hey, I want to seriously thank you all the subscribers for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. It means a lot to me. Uh, 50 is, is great. 100 is better. But we're going to get there. And you're going to come along with me. So I really appreciate it. Thanks again.